What's up, fellow Clashers? It's Apollyon here, and you guys have asked me uh, my opinion on what you should upgrade first, going from eight to ta Town Hall eight to Town Hall nine, basically being a Town Hall eight point five. And I'm going to preface this by saying a couple things. First of all, you know we just had the update, so it's still you know up there and what's going to work and what's not going to work. I'm going to give you my opinion of what the the correct build or the correct upgrades are right now compared to what I did. And, you know, we'll see. Maybe I'll have to correct what I say. Uh, but it comes from experience and from what I have read. Also, I'm going to give you a build uh, or an upgrade chart based on Clan Wars. Um, if you're going purely playing for farming, then it's not going to be the same at all. Uh, you're going to build defenses like Wiz Towers and Mortars. Well, not Mortars because they don't give you one. But you're going to upgrade your Mortars. You're going to build uh, uh, the extra Wizard Tower and upgrade that first. A lot of splash damage to come in to, to negate uh, uh, Barch and Go Wipe and things like that. A little different than you would if you are really trying to defend in clan wars and be uh, optimally taking out bases, three starring it, and not just you know going in and barching something for loot, so it's it's based solely on clan wars. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, first of all, when you're going from town hall eight to town hall nine, you have ten days to prepare for this, where your town hall is upgrading. I would suggest you max everything out in your town hall eight defense offense everything that you possibly can and um you know the walls i would still try to recommend that you get all skull walls i think i had half and half skull walls and half purple when i upgraded and i was doing the upgrades while my town hall was going on but uh it's always best to start off with a max town hall eight to, when you're going to town hall nine so that way you're not playing catch up when you get there and trust me Going from Town Hall 8 to Town Hall 9 is extremely expensive when you hit Town Hall 9 and you're going to be upgrading the things that I'm mentioning here. So when you, when you finally hit Town Hall 9 and you have, let's go with 4 builders and then 5 builders because, I mean, it's much better to start off with uh, when you have 5 builders. You won't use them as often when you start building a lot of these things and you're, you're updating and upgrading and things like that. But when you first hit Town Hall 9, you want to have five builders free. Um, if you don't, that's okay. Just do your four that you can and then you know we'll just mix and match it like that. Whatever I put for the fifth builder, you'll have to do that when one of your builders is finished and just do that next. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your bombs. Uh, you want to build things that are instant builds. They do increase your weight a little bit, but they're incredibly important, especially for clan wars. Uh, you get two, I think you get two bombs, if I'm, if I'm not, not mistaken. Uh, you get two seeking air mines, um, you know, the black seeking mines. So you build those, and then you have uh, two air bombs, I believe. I don't think you get three in Town Hall 8, so I think it's two air bombs. But whatever, I mean, if it's only one, then build your one air bomb. And if it's only one seeking mine, build your one seeking mine, but I'm pretty sure it's two. And um, your spring traps, you got to throw those spring traps down there. So these are all instant builds that don't take too much money to go ahead and do. Uh, maybe, maybe the air seeking mines are, I can't see how much they cost anymore because I've already built them. Um, and then the walls too, I would throw at least level one walls. Uh, you know, they're not going to hold much, but at a minimum, they'll make things easier and uh, they'll make things better for you defending instead of somebody just really easily walking into your base. And you can always double up the walls if you want to or however it is. I mean, it just makes it that much more difficult. Um, but, okay, make sure you have max gold, max um, elixir when you're turning into that Town Hall 9. That is very, very important because you're going to want to go ahead and upgrade your clan castle. That is of utmost importance. It takes, I think it takes six days to do that, six to seven days. And uh, it's a huge, it's a game changer. So if you do not have enough gold to do those instant builds that are above, make sure you put your gold into the clan castle. Do not build the instant builds and then not have enough money for the clan castle. Make sure you build that first and then you can build your instant builds. Those, that's the only gold that you're really going to need to use um, and then you can build the other things later. That's fine. But um, 
yeah, you need to upgrade that clan castle. This will allow you to take maxed units. Uh, wasn't even as big uh, of a deal as it is now that the new update com is, is coming in, but this will allow you to take a max golem. And when you first start Town Hall 9, you only have golem level 2. Uh, the difference between Golem level 2 and Golem level 5 is huge. It's a massive di difference, and it, it can make and break your raids. So getting that clan castle up to le uh, level uh, 5 is of the utmost importance. And now that they've put in max Valkyries and max Hogs that you cannot get at level uh, Town Hall level 9, you can also take those in there, and those will make a difference. So that's it's very, very important stuff especially since you will only have uh, Valkyrie level 2s that you can make initially until you do some serious upgrading, and that will take a lot of time. So, you know, difference between level 2 Valkyries and level 5 Valkyries is night and day as well. So those, that's very, very important. So the first thing is Clan Castle. Now we'll move into some of the um, Elixir stuff. So my suggestion would be that you want to upgrade, or is that your lab next? That is... Very, very, very important. This will start your ability to be able to upgrade any of the units that you want to do. Okay, um, and then let's go into the spell factory. The spell factory is next. It's not a huge deal initially. Uh, jump level one is not going to do you any good, but in order to upgrade jump level one, you have to at least have the spell factory upgraded. Um, I, I think I've used freeze once or twice in my life at Town Hall 9, and that is also available once you upgrade that spell factory. But again, it's just very, very important. And then thirdly, um, it's a weird kind of thing. It's offense and defense together, together, and this is your archer queen. So you want to go ahead and do that for, you know, go ahead and instantly build her. If you have enough of elixir to go ahead instantly build her and then go ahead and upgrade her i think the first one is six hours or 12 hours to get her to level two she really doesn't become effective till you get her to level uh, five but you got to make the journey and you know what uh, even as an ancillary type of offense and defense she's very good uh she's worth a ton of archers and she does a lot of damage even at level one she just doesn't have the ability so that's fine so that's good. So that's what I would do if I had my four builders right there. My fifth builder and on will be working on these army camps. You need to get to your max army here. So go ahead and build all, uh, upgrade all of these armies. I don't think any of them are builds. I think all of them are upgrades. And uh, I think they take at least six days, but maybe six to seven days apiece. So you'll, you'll need, all, uh, you know, it, uh, uh, once the clan castle and lab get done, you'll need to go ahead and put those builders on the army camps. All right. So um, trying to think if there's anything else as far as uh, elixir-based stuff. Those are the most important ones, in my opinion, to go ahead and do. Now we'll talk about some defense. Once all of these offense uh, units are finished and you've finished all your army camps, your archer queen, your spell factory, your lab, and your clan castle, now you can decide really what kind of attacker you want to be. Okay, we'll go into troops in just a little bit, but you can choose to upgrade your, um, your dark barracks. It's going to take you, I think... It's uh, the first one is seven days and the next one is eight days. So it's going to take you about two weeks to upgrade to Lava Hounds. So you can choose to do that or you can decide you want to go ahead and work on your ground game and get your golems up and, and everything else, your hogs. It, that, we'll talk about the, the, that later. But in order to get even upgrade those units, those dark uh, elixir units, uh, like Witch and Hound, you're going to have to build that, uh, or I'm mean, sorry, upgrade that Dark Barret. So... After you've upgraded your army camp, you can throw one of the one one of your builders to upgrade your dark barracks. It makes things tough to raid and it makes things tough to farm because you're down one dark barracks, but that's just the way it goes. And then secondly, um, you have let's go ahead and throw let's go ahead and throw these things down there. So if you notice, I only I only have one level six dark barracks. I still haven't upgraded the other one yet. And 
Uh, then you want to go ahead and upgrade your Dark Spell Factory too. Um, this really isn't that important until you get into your air attack and until you're air attacking because you don't really use your haste on too many things unless you're using mass dragons, which you don't really want to do until you get to level 4 dragons, or a Laloon, which you can do at le level 1 hounds, but you want to do that with level 2 hounds if possible, and that's at least 2 weeks away. So building that Dark Spell Factory is not of utmost importance initially. You have to have it to get haste um, and other things down the road, but that's, that's okay. That's, that's your choice of when you want to do that. All right, so now let's talk about some defense. All right, so now the game has changed in my opinion. Uh, when I upgraded to Town Hall 9, Expos were taboo. They were something you would build. They, were, they had so much war weight, and um, they would instantly put you really high up in, in clan war waiting and that structure. So you are going to build your Expos at a minimum of 10-10 heroes or royals, May, more likely when you get 15-15, that's when you throw your first Expo down. In my opinion, at this point of the game, Expos are becoming super powerful. They just upgraded them again, not level 1, but level 2 and level 3 to a lot more, a lot heavier. So for me, I upgraded my, or I built my Air Defense and my Tesla, my 4th Air Defense and 4th Tesla first. Now I would change it. Now I would go ahead and drop these Expos as fast as possible. They can be used on ground or on air, um, or uh, air and ground or just ground. They make defending your farm base so much better. I had never defended once uh, using without my until I built my Expos. I would just get trampled on by max Town Hall 9s or even Town Hall 10s, and I could never defend until I finally dropped those Expos down, and now I still don't defend that much, but at least I defend occasionally. They make a huge, huge difference. So that's what I would build first, at least one Expo, possibly two if you can. Then what I would do after that is I would drop these beautiful new uh, air defenses, those, those really awesome, cool-looking upgrades, um, to build your fourth air defense, and then build your fourth uh, hidden Tesla. And um, I still haven't upgraded my Expos. I will probably do that immediately because they get that extra 10 DPS uh, to level 2 uh, uh, increased or boost. Uh, I mean, and, and, and you want to get your, uh, your air defenses max and your hidden Teslas max. Just expect to be three-starred pretty early when you first become a Town Hall 9. It's basically a Town Hall 8 uh, being hit by a Town Hall 9. And anybody that has decent ma uh, troops, not even max, but decent troops at Town Hall 9 will be able to trample your base. Um, especially if they have a, a level 2 Lava Hound and decent Royals. I mean, there's just no way you can defend. You do want to get up to those air defenses up to level 7. Is that what it is? Level 7? Yeah, and you want your hidden Tesla up to level 7. They do so much damage, those hidden Teslas, uh, especially in a Tesla farm or placed in good areas. So go ahead and do that. And uh, then, you know, I'm not going to get deep into Town Hall 9. This is an early thing. This will keep you busy for a couple of months. Um, we can go into what, you, what other things you should do uh, uh, after this, but this, this should definitely keep you busy as far as money goes. Um, the, the Expos cost $5 million a piece. Wait, no, $3 million, right? $3 million a piece, and to upgrade them are $5 million a piece, and uh, the air defenses to get them all the way up is very expensive. It's the uh, same as hidden Teslas. They take a ton of time to do. So this will go ahead and eat up a lot of your time. All right. So, um, and I would not recommend getting a wizard tower. They weigh so much um, as far as, you know, weight, war weight for what they give you. They really don't become effective until you hit level eight. Is it level eight? You know, level seven. They, then they, they are definitely effective, but they cause so much war. They cost so much war weight. And they also, um, you know, they've got their hit point buff now, but they, they, they just take a long time to do as well. So, I held back. I probably, you know, I'm upgrading my fourth one right now. You know, it's just my choice. And uh, throw, a, go ahead and throw your uh, archer tower down there at any time after you build these four that are on the screen, uh, and upgrade that. That you know, upgrade your defenses, all your new defenses to town hall eight level before you start building the new ones. So upgrade your air defense to, to level six, to at least level six. 
upgrade your hidden test to the level six. I would still upgrade them to level seven, but then after you've gotten them to level six, you can decide whether you want to upgrade them to level seven or just build a new archer tower. It's really up to you and what you feel more comfortable with. All right, so let's talk about some offensive troops right now. All right, so let's talk about troops. But before we do that, uh, I mentioned walls, building your walls, uh, at least the 25 new walls, and you can try to get away with upgrading them to whatever doesn't bankrupt you to be able to build the clan castle and your other instant defenses. But whenever you have spare gold, throw them into those walls. You want to get those 20, 25 new walls to level 8 walls as soon as possible. And then once you get everything to level 8 walls, then start building them to level 9. And it's kind of nice because you can use elixir or gold, whatever you have. Um, also, keep a spare builder. Uh, you don't want to gather too much gold or too much elixir that you're not going to use immediately or have plans for because you will get raided and they will take all of your elixir or gold. Throw them into the walls whenever you have spare. If, you're not, if you've got builders that are, that are building or upgrading things for multiple days, like the, uh, the, the, the Teslas and the air defenses, you're going to be building those for 10 and 12 days, upgrading them. And uh, the Expo, same thing. They, they take a long time to upgrade. So when you have all these builders working, try to keep one on the side so that you can upgrade uh, your walls with Elixir and Gold while, they're, uh, you know, while they're, the other builders are working on something. Now, let's go ahead and talk about troops. This is, again, my opinion because this is I'm doing it for war. Things are changing a little bit. It's kind of hard to say, say how OP these Valkyries will really be. But... Um, when you first go ahead and unlock or upgrade the, the lab, you're going to have some different options. You have to choose what kind of attacker you're going to be, what you're going to use. Uh, if, you're, if you love La Lune, then work for that uh, uh, quickly and get, get up to that very, very, um, very, very quickly. If you love you know, your ground attack, your Goho, your hog riders, get, get to that very quickly. I, if you notice, still, I just upgraded my giants to level 6, and um, I still haven't touched my barbarians and archers. Uh, it's just my, I'm not a barcher. I, I'm not a big farmer. I use a queen walk, and I use, you know, sometimes go wipe or something like that to, in order to farm. It's, I, I've just, I've never been a barcher like that. Uh, you'll notice that when you do farming mainly, those are the three you want to upgrade really quickly. So I did my upgrades according to Clan Wars, okay? So that's what I would recommend. Uh, normally, a normal person, you should be very comfortable with using uh, Goho at Town Hall 8 as it's the bread and butter attack. So the two things that you want to upgrade to, to make your Goho that much more effective are your hog, hog Riders. You want to get these Hog Riders, which was max, now it's to level 5 ASAP. It's just one upgrade. You should already... Uh, are you? Yeah, yeah. You're level four at level, Town Hall Eight. You're all, you only need one upgrade. It is expensive and it's a very long time. I think it's twelve days, but it's just it, you just need to do it. I mean, you're not going to be a hogger unless you upgrade. Then your golem, no matter what you choose to attack. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to take a step back. Um, go ahead and upgrade your hog riders. And then it's going to take 12 days. You should be able to build up a couple, a, a good amount of elixir and, uh, and, and get that done. Um, what you want to do is, I don't even know which one. I think it's this one right here. I can't see it's grayed out. But um, you want to get your jump upgraded. Um, you know, the level one jump, unfortunately, I think they should have made it 30 seconds instead of 20 seconds. You think that 20 seconds is going to be enough. It's worthless. It really is. As soon as anything starts jumping in there, it's, it'll disappear on you, and then they'll be banging on walls. So I would go for hog riders first and then jump immediately after that. You want that jump to, it's, very, it's a little bit lower costing, and it doesn't take a long time. I think it's five days, and that's really going to build upon your attacks that you're, you need to do. Um, you know, these golems, it's great to get them up to level four or whatever, but if you have a level one jump, they're going to jump, the, they're going to take the jump, and then your king and your queen and everything else is going to stay behind, and your golems are going to be ripped to shreds by the defenses. They're just going to be punching bags. So go ahead and get that jump up to level two. That would be my suggestion. So you can get that hog, the hogs to max level or level five now, and then that spell factory, the spell factory should be done and unlock your jump spell. Go ahead and upgrade that as soon as your hogs finish. Then 
For me, I would recommend that you upgrade your golems to level 3 and level 4. I know it's very dark elixir, or elixir intensive, they cost a lot and it takes a lot of time, but again, they are your bread and butter, your staple of your attacks. Even if you want to do air attacks, you still do uh, go laloons and you still use golems. Sometimes you can use a cold-blooded with the uh, uh, your golem in your clan castle, but a lot of times you need to bring that other one. And level 2 golems just don't cut it. There's a big difference between level 2 and level 4 golems. So that is the next one that I would work on. Um, while you're doing your hogs, while you're doing your, spell, your, your jump, and while you're doing your golem, that's going to take you about a month of time or, or, or around that, that time period. So you can start upgrading your dark barracks um, and, you know, during that time and unlock your, your witch and, and hound. So do it in tandem. Uh, you know, it's, it's something that you can do. Then what I would recommend is I would probably uh, get, the, which I haven't done. So do as I say, not as I do. Um, I don't know which one of these. Okay, that's lightning. I would upgrade your heal to level six. It's again, if you're gonna be a big hog rider, I wanted to do Laloon, so I, you know, I upgraded the things that needed I needed to do that with. So, uh, but your healing spell is very important. It will go ahead and heal your Valkyries. It'll heal your hogs and heal everything else. So that's a very very good thing. And then. Um, you, you, you upgrade whatever you're going to be attacking with. Um, let's see here. I, I upgraded my, my, uh, my hound very quickly as soon as I got it done just because I wanted to start attacking with Laloon. I figured that at my low weight, uh, very few, you know, the bases that I was going to be hitting uh, were, were going to have lower level air defenses and, you know, level two uh, uh, um, hounds just demolish those bases. They're just, it's so easy. So I figured, and I figured right, I, I, my first couple of Laloons, my first one was a disaster, but my next three or four of them, I three starred with no problem. And they were, they were even a little higher than me. I hit up, but their air defenses were all um, level seven and, or level six, I think. And it's it, it just crushed those bases. I didn't even need higher level um, royals for that. So I decided to do that. I would recommend you get heal. Go ahead and, and uh, finish that. And then when you decide you're going to try Laloon, you will definitely need to upgrade your uh, loons. You have to upgrade, upgrade your loons. You need level 6 loons before you get level 2 hounds. And then, um, you know, just for farming, you're going to need Dark Elixir. You're going to need a lot of it. Uh, at some point, you're going to want to upgrade that healer from level 3 to level 4. I didn't think it was that big of a difference, but it's a huge difference when you get four or five of them stacked on each other. That makes the world of difference as far as effectiveness. So get those healers upgraded. Um, and uh, then just, you know, pick and choose what things you want to uh, upgrade. Uh, Valkyries, now that they've made a change... You might want to stick with a ground attack, and if you're going to use a Go Vaho, then don't even upgrade your Hounds and your Loons that, that fast. Go ahead and upgrade your Valkyries to level 4. Uh, it's just, you know, whatever kind of attack that you're going to use is what you want to start upgrading. And any base can be, be hit by anything else. You can see I'm upgrading my Dragon level 4. But, you know, hopefully these things make sense to you. Um, just pick and choose what is most important to you. But that was my opinion. That's where I've had the most success. And I've seen most uh, other people have the most success with what we're talking about here. But do what makes sense to you and, uh, you know, where you're going to be most successful. One thing I would say is don't upgrade your barbarians. Don't, uh, barbarians, don't upgrade your archers. Um, your giants, they're good for farming. But you'll see when you use them in war, it's very rare. You use them to uh, distract uh, specific defenses, but you never use a bulk of your army in, as giants unless you're very advanced. And by that time, you'll have everything else done anyway. So, you know, hold back on all of those upgrades. I think they just changed the goblin one to, you know, this was not available until the upgrade uh, to be able to do goblin level six at uh, Town Hall 9. So uh, I still haven't used that. I know there's going to be a strategy where goblins are extremely important because they, they do so much damage to town halls and things like that, but we'll see. So anyway, 
I hope this is, answers what you guys were looking for. Um, sorry for being long-winded and going on and on and on, but uh, that's the best I can do. So, you know, go ahead and, uh, you know, ask me any questions or what, what I think about it on the comments below. And, you know, go for it and have a good time. Town Hall 9 is by far the most fun I've had in the entire game. Even more now that they've reduced it by 30 seconds for that clan war. It's going to make it much more challenging and I think much more effective. So I, I just love that. So anyway, go ahead and uh, you know take these suggestions to heart. Think about it. And hopefully you get those uh, six-star clan wars and those three-star attacks.